Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to see all of you. Uh, uh, I'm very thankful for you all to join this webinar. I understand that last week we had another webinar about RT300 introduction, and it, it's becoming, let's say, uh, quite often <laughs> to meet you every week in, in webinars, but I hope in the future uh, we will have more of them, but you will be able to choose what you want to listen. Uh, so, I'm Andres Unikas. For those who do not know me, uh, I work in operational marketing uh, at the company Teltonica Networks for approximately four years. Uh, I think uh, three weeks ago, it was uh, four years uh, that I, I was working in Teltonica Networks. So, in, now it's uh, slightly a bit more, you know, and... Uh, as you know, Teltonica Networks as a company is a rapidly growing technology company. Uh, we are the manufacturing professionals. Uh, we are having our own facility in Vilnius, in Lithuania, in, in the capital of, of Lithuania. And uh, basically our motto is to provide the reliable, secure, and easy to use product. So how it all started? How it all started that now we have Ethernet and wireless division? So it all started with one company called Teltonica. Uh, Teltonica was also a rapid growing technology company having more than 500 employees and basically two product groups, trackers and routers. All employees had an ability to look for any partner and sell any device Teltonica made. However, during these years, we have realized that these two product groups are very different one from another. And how could one person be a professional of both of them? So we decided to split these product groups into two different ones. We did this because we wanted you, our partners, to have a professional sales manager at Teltonica company. Furthermore, we know that focus is the key to success. So for about two years, until 2020, we had uh, sales managers who were focusing only for trackers or only for routers. Well, and this helped us uh, to be more flexible uh, better to our clients, uh, real professionals of products that we sell. Uh, so in 2020, we have split Teltonica into five different companies. Teltonica IoT Group as a parent company and four other differentiated by, uh, let's say, the product group. So in 2020, a company called Teltonica Networks was established. During this year and the beginning of 2021, we saw a great growth in number of employees and in our revenues. This led us to increase our sales by approximately 45% uh, comparing 2019 and 2020. And we started thinking how we could improve, how we could focus even more into products that we are good at. These thinkings led us to something what we, we made earlier. In 2021, we have split Teltonica Networks sales managers into two different product divisions, seller division and Ethernet and wireless division. We did this because, again, we realized that focus is the most important thing that keeps us growing. And today, I will be speaking and introducing you our Ethernet and wireless product division. Or in simple words, I'm speaking about Ethernet routers and industrial switches. So this division's product portfolio exists of routers, switches, and an IoT platform. I will review all the products that are included into this division's product portfolio. Uh, talking about the hardware, I would like to begin with uh, RT300, uh, the product which we have released, I think, one month ago, uh, our latest Ethernet to Ethernet router which is equipped with five Ethernet ports, USB port for industrial machinery connectivity and digital I.O. Furthermore, this router is supporting our RET OS, which means it is equipped with multiple security features such as VPNs, firewalls, cyber attack prevention, etc. Without all of this, it is compatible with our RMS, Remote Management System which makes this product unique for connecting and managing your whole network connectivity. RT300, again, has five fast Ethernet ports to easily plug in the computers and give immediate access to the internet. It will easily fit to any cabinet or, or, or on a simple desk. 
uh, a USB port can be used to easily connect, uh, let's say, a printer or other office equipment to the network. And it comes with a pre-configured firewall, meaning that it is immediately safe to use. Uh, it also offers a selection of 10 different VPN services. And as you can see in this topology in the banking sector, encrypted channel is one of the most important things between the bank branches and the headquarters. Uh, as you can see here, RMS connection is also included and RMS connect allows to reach the equipment connected to the uh, routers and manage them remotely. For example, if you need to connect from your HQ to the uh, I don't know, computer in one of the bank branches, you can do that via RMS. You will have the same access as your employee sitting next to that computer. If you will face a competition you should, uh, between RT300 and one of our competitors, you should mention that RT300 is an industrial router with wide operating temperature range and industrial uh, mounting options. Furthermore, it is equipped with multiple security protocols, which I have mentioned, and RMS for remote management and connection. Without all of this, it is so simple, really so simple to use and install and so small that you can put it basically anywhere. Another Ethernet router in this division is RTX08. It is a robust device with, five, uh, with four gigabit Ethernet ports and USB 2.0. It is equipped with advanced security features, the same as RT300 has, the VPN services, firewalls, and uh, industrial networking and remote management protocols. It also supports RMS, and RTX08 is a great tool to support wired network infrastructure. As seen as in this topology with RTX08 and one of our switches, you can connect your, let's say, home office with your offices remotely. Remote offices and employees working from home can use the same call server connected to the internet using a RTX08 gigabit ethernet router. This router offers enough data throughput for a bandwidth demanding VoIP systems and ensures reliable internet connection. RTX08 comes uh, again with a built-in RT OS operating system uh, offering uh, VPNs, firewalls for encryptions. Uh, also, a firewall makes uh, this device a superb performer for such solutions. Uh, Going further with uh, the key selling points of RTX08, uh, we should think how it differs from others. But we have a simple answer. Gigabit Ethernet ports with industrial design, mounting options, and even power supply, which is four pin power connector. Combination of VLANs and VPNs makes this router super secure and functional. And RTX10, the last router from this division, is a gigabit Ethernet router with Bluetooth low energy and dual band Wi Fi. Dual band Wi Fi, I mean AC Wi Fi, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And this device is perfect for VPN enabled encrypted connectivity and sharing wired internet over double Wi Fi channels. This can be useful for, let's say, speed sensitive applications using five gigahertz channel or to separate private and public hotspots via two Wi-Fi. In addition, Bluetooth enables uh, additional functionality with various sensors, which you can find in our website. I think there's more than 15 or 20 different sensors and obviously the industrial equipment. Because RTX10 is equipped with uh, AC Wi-Fi, it perfectly fits for hotel environment. Trust me, perfectly. Therefore, RTX10 is very capable of high data transmission and robust wireless performance. To ensure that the connectivity is maintained at the highest level or and speed at each floor, uh, so each floor is equipped with at least two RTX10 routers supplying Wi-Fi uh, to one another. These devices can utilize Wi-Fi and access point and station mode at the same time which means less cables needed for installation and always stable continuous Wi-Fi network. If you would look closely at this topology, you would see also our switches, 
which are able to connect to cameras, IP phones, payment terminals, uh, to any other devices. Key differences of Ethernet routers in the market and RTX10 is the Wi-Fi. RTX10 again has a dual band Wi-Fi, which works in access point and station mode at the same time. This is very important because they can work at the same time in access point and station mode. It has also a hotspot with default landing page, which saves quite a big amount of money when speaking about expenses for, let's say, IT design engineers. Furthermore, it has uh, gigabit Ethernet ports and multiple security features. If we would move to switches, we have uh, our first industrial switch with five gigabit Ethernet ports, out of which four are PoE. It has a maximum power budget of 120 watts, meaning 30 watts per port. Furthermore, it has an industrial operating temperature range and aluminum housing. As mentioned before, our TSB100 switch is equipped with PoE, so it becomes a perfect solution for reliable multiple camera connectivity uh, without additional power supply. Since all our products are very easy to use, you can deploy this solution in just a few hours. And with RT X10, you can manage your whole infrastructure remotely using RMS. Rugged aluminum housing, industrial mounting options, wide operating temperature range from minus 40 to 75 degrees Celsius makes TSB100 a perfect industrial PoE and PoE plus switch for a very competitive pricing. Furthermore, it is made in Lithuania, in Europe, as all our products. And what makes it even more different from others, it has maximum power budget of 120 watts, meaning 30 watts per port. Because, you know, some uh, competition is offering the same maximum power budget, but they offer less per port. So just check this information before choosing. And the last product from our Ethernet and wireless division is TSV 110. A simple but powerful unmanaged switch. It has gigabit Ethernet ports, a wide range of power supply, and rugged, rugged aluminum housing with DIN rail mounting possibility. The last topology which I would like to mention today is factory machinery connectivity using TSV 110. Here you can see uh, an application in a factory similar to our Stiltonica EMS or any other factory. Uh, all of the HMIs, PLCs, sensors, and other IP equipment must be interconnected to function as designed. And here the switch plays let's say a very important role by transferring data from the server to manufacturing lines, PLCs, HMIs, and different sensors, which ensures smooth operation. And as you can see, one switch at each manufacturing line. If TSV100 was so perfect PoE and PoE plus switch, then TSV110 is a perfect industrial non-PoE switch in the market, which is also cost-effective with industrial mounting options, operating temperature, and aluminum housing. Now, I would like to speak about RMS because uh, the, when I was mentioning sales managers that sell different products, I need to mention that both divisions uh, will be able to offer you RMS. And as you know, RMS is our remote management system it's a device management and IoT platform, which uh, let's say allows you to be in control of your connected solution and consists of three main parts. RMS management gives you full control over your fleet of Teltonica networks, routers and gateways, ensuring their security and availability. RMS Connect allows you to reach and control other smart devices remotely, even without public IP. And I recommend you, check the functionality of RMS Connect. You will be surprised by what it can offer. It will offer to reach any device that you would like to reach remotely. 
simple. Just make a uh, connection to one of our products, take RMS, and you will have full access to the last device. Well, and RMS API helps you to take what you need from RMS and implement it into the IoT platform of your choice. So you have heard what we have right now for Ethernet and wireless division, but trust me, we will expand, we will grow, and we will conquer the market with additional PoE switches with more ports, with functionality that is perfect for automotive industry. Furthermore, we will not leave SFP ports out of our sight. We understand that this is very important for you, for our partners, so we promise that in the future, you will see products from us that are oriented into demand popular features. Without all of this, we will include additional accessories which will make all your networking installations easier. So this is all I wanted to share about Ethernet and Wireless Division. I introduced you to the short history, how we created it. I showed you the products that they have use cases, and key selling points. And thank you all of you for joining this webinar, and I hope we will meet in the near future in the next webinar. Uh, so thank you, and have a wonderful day.